3, a particle moves along a straight line and passes through a fixed point O with initial velocity of this one. So, we see here initial velocity. So, starting point when T is equal to 0, V is equal to 8 meter per second. Acceleration at T second after passing point O is given to here. So, we see after passing this equation is for after passing point O. You see here A is equal to 10 minus 6 T. Okay. Find the maximum displacement of the particle. So, we see here displacement. We need to know what is our equation of displacement. So, we know that from S, then only we can get V and then A. So, going to the right, S to V, this one is in uh, differentiation ds over dt this one is dv over dt and going the other way around integration of a integration of v so we see here to get displacement we is given that we have a right so we must go through v before we can go to s okay step by step so here we have a right now we want to find v we know that here from a to v we must do integration of a with respect to time so, A is 10 minus 60 dt. So, when we integrate 10, we get 10 t. When we integrate negative 60, so we just write the constant first. t is actually power of 1. So, we add the power with 1. We get 2 divided by 2. Don't forget to add plus c. So, this one is 10 t minus 3 t square plus c. Okay. So, we don't want our c. So, it's given that when t is equal to 0, v is equal to 8. So, we can substitute when V is equal to 8, T is 0. So, here we get that C is equal to 8. Now, we get our equation of V. So, here V is equal to, so just now we get 10 T minus 3 T square plus C, right? So, our C is 8. So, now we get the equation 10 T minus 3 T square plus 8. So now we can find what is our displacement because we already get our V then from V only we can get our displacement. So S is equal to integration of V. So our V is 10 T minus 3 T square plus 8 D T. So integrate 10 T, you just write the constant first. So T is actually power of 1. So plus 1 we get T2 divided with power minus. So this one is 3. So T2 at 1, we get 3 divided with power. So, this one we get 8t and then we get plus c. So, this one is 5t square minus t cubed plus 8t plus c. So, we know that a after passing point O. So, at point O is 0, right? So, t0 at t0, s is equal to 0. So, here passing point O at t is equal to 0, s is equal to 0. So, when we substitute, when this one, everything is 0, 0, minus 0, because everything multiplied with 0, we get C, right? So, we know that here, C is equal to 0. So, when C is equal to 0, S is equal to 5T cubed, 5T squared, sorry, minus T cubed plus AT. So, here we get the equation S is equal to 5T squared minus T cubed plus AT. So, A, maximum displacement. What happened at maximum displacement? So, we know that at maximum displacement, so maximum uh, at the highest point, V is equal to 0. Okay. So, we know that, okay, when we are talking about, uh, when we are talking about displacement, maximum velocity, maximum displacement, V is equal to 0. Maximum or minimum velocity, A is 0. Because, like, because what I say, this one is the, uh, this one is the gradient. So, when we are talking about gradient, so we see a gradient can be, this one is positive gradient, right? This one is negative gradient. But there must be at point where the maximum point, 
where uh, the value is zero so this is the case where the maximum or minimum so for maximum or minimum displacement v is zero and for maximum or minimum velocity a is zero okay that's one is the thing that you need to remember okay v is equal to zero okay so v is equal to zero so we have the formula right so we have then t minus 3 t square plus 8 is equal to 0 so i want to factorize bring it at one side so 3 t square so i'll bring it to the left to the right because i want everything to be positive i want this one the, the highest power to be positive then t minus 8 is equal to 0 E minus 4 this one is 3 t plus 2 is equal to 0 so here t is equal to 4 t is equal to negative 2 over 3 but we know that time cannot be negative this one is not acceptable so we know here so at maximum displacement t is equal to 4 the question wants us to find the displacement right so at t is equal to 4 s is equal to so we just substitute the value of t 5 this one is 4 square minus 4 cubed plus 8, 4. So this one is 5 times 16. So 5 times 16. So this one is 80 minus 64 plus 32. So you are supposed to get 48. So this one is meter. So this one is 48 meter. B, the distance travelled by the particle in the fifth second. So fifth seconds, that means from S is equal to 4 up to S is equal to 5. Right? Because only on the fifth second. So we have to find the difference which means S5 minus S4. So S5 is equal to, this one is when T is equal to 5. So we just substitute, so this one is 5, t square is 5 square minus 5 cube plus 8, 5. So this one is 5 cube, 1 to 5 minus 1 to 5 plus 40. So here we get 40. So this one is meter. So when s is equal to 4, we get 5, this one is 4 square. So you see this formula, I just substitute the t minus, this one is 4 cube minus 8 times 4 so this one is actually 48 because we just calculate just now in a right so this one the difference is s5 minus s4 so here is 40 minus 48 so here you get negative 8 which is 8 so the distance travel in the fifth second is 8 meter